I'm back with another review. Today I've got a special review. Oh, this re review is a bit late. It's probably over a year late. But I have the uh, the Stormtrooper Commander from the Force Unleashed video game. Um, I have I actually was lucky um, to get two of these guys off of eBay. If you want to look look up close here, this is the uh, the whole collection of the Force Unleashed. I'm sure you know what it is if you play the game or if you're a hardcore Star Wars fan like me or you're familiar with the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the only uh, Force Unleashed figure I've done so far is Juno Eclipse. I've done her because I basically like to collect Imperial officers, but I do intend to get all these guys eventually, um, order them from eBay or some private shops or something. And um, I was, I was, as I said, I was lucky to get two of these guys. One I'm going to keep in very mint condition. Uh, the other I'm going to open and actually display. He comes cased up here. If you missed your chance to get this, basically you had to get this with a pre-order of the game at GameStop. Um, if you missed your chance and you really wanted a Stormtrooper Commander, um, they do occasionally release one when Comic Con was out. I know they re-released him in the Comic Con, and you could order him for a while off the Hasbro website. He was like twelve ninety nine plus uh, whatever shipping would be, but he came in the uh, more angular red newer packaging that uh, that I don't like so well. The packaging here, this is actually from a. Uh, <coughs> Before the game came out, it was still 30th anniversary. I'll pop this open here for you to get a better look at it. And um, I don't believe the newer Stormtrooper Commander from the Comic Con comes with a Stormtrooper Commander stand. That's, I think the little stand that says Stormtrooper Commander on it is exclusive to, uh, to the GameStop one, but I'm not sure on that. He, he could come with a stand. I could be wrong. Get a, get a good look at this guy outside of the packaging. Um, I've talked to Sithlord229 about this figure. Uh, basically, I know he somewhat does look like a clone trooper. Um, Sithlord229 has told me this is kind of a an attempt to make a bridge between the uh, the Clone Wars and Episodes 4, 5, and 6, the Stormtrooper Commander. And there's some theory online that uh, basically this is just a... Uh, <coughs> the Stormtroopers with the orange shoulder patch are also a Stormtrooper Commander. This is just their, com uh, their combat suit for Felicia. Um, I think that's wrong. I think the Stormtrooper Commander is more elite and more special than the Orange Shoulder Patch Stormtrooper. Um, also, if you got if you got the game stuff exclusive, he's got a, a cheat code here as well. I'll read you the back here. The Stormtrooper Commander patrols the front lines, leading his troops into fierce combat on the on the fungal planet of Felicia. Felucia. I probably pronounced that wrong. Sorry. Uh, clearly visible with its enhanced, uniquely detailed armor. He confronts the Felucians with a mighty bl Blaster Tech E11 blaster rifle and the pure willingness to pull its trigger. One thing about this guy, he does come with a uh, with a uh, E11 blaster. I was hoping, I was hoping to get this guy uh, with like a some kind of unique, some kind of unique rifle or weapon. I think they should have done that, being that he's such a special, a special stormtrooper. But they they didn't. So I'm gonna get him up here. <coughs> Get them out of the packaging. When I do my full uh, my full review of my full collection, I'll I'll show you the uh, the package version again. Cheat code if you haven't got the game yet. Comes with the cheat code as I said. The official uh, Stormtrooper Commander stand. Um, the uh, the Force Unleashed figures were the last guys to come with this stand. They've decided not to make these stands as I've told you before with the. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, the current legacy line. Pop him out. Ah. Come on out. Mm. Now, if you've gotten the um, the 30th anniversary Stormtrooper, this guy's articulation is going to be familiar with you, to you. I know they came out with a few variants, as I've said before, the uh, 30th anniversary Stormtrooper, the Mouse and Basil comic pack, or Luke and Han in the 30th anniversary Comic packs, the Skies of Stormtroopers, or Luke and Han in the Legacy Collection, or the current Space Trooper. They all pretty much have the same articulation to them. Um, uh, this is stuck. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute. Uh, this is stuck on here. Knife, thank you. Ah. All right. That may give you a bit of trouble there, getting this off. Here he is. Stormtrooper Trooper Commander, I'm going to put him on a stand. Uh, I 
I'm glad I was able to pick up two of these guys. Looking back on it, I should have pre-ordered the game. Gotten one for free. Whoops. Turn him around here. You get a good look at him. As I said, he does look a lot like a clone trooper in a lot of ways. Uh, Jedi Master from Australia has also pointed out, if you, one of my earlier reviews, if you got in the, uh, the comic pack about a year ago, the Lano Calrissian um, Empire Strikes Back comic pack, he looks very similar to the Stormtrooper that comes with that comic pack as well. I know Jedi Master's done a review of them side by side. <coughs> Excuse me. If you want to look here, I'll go through his articulation. He's got a uh, removable helmet. Of course, big surprise, he's Tamara Morrison. Um, he's got the standard E11 blaster, as I've said. Um, his articulation here is he's got a uh, ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, elbows, knees, and ankles. He's got swivel wrists and hips, ball jointed torso. And um, of course, uh, the removable helmet. He's got a uh, working holster here for his E11. If you choose to take it out, his E11, of course, is tied to his hand like a lot of the modern figures are. And he does come with a grenade on the back. Um, I like this figure a lot. Um, he's very unique to my Stormtrooper collection. Right now I've got, uh, let me see. As, as I've told you before, I prefer the capture of the Tanty 4 Stormtroopers. I have 15 of them. Another capture of the Tanty 4 pack is actually coming in the mail. I've got a three opened 30th anniversary. Luke and Han and the Legacy Collection. Luke in the, in the comic pack is the Stormtrooper. And um, I've, got a, I've, I've got three Space Troopers now. So um, I would like to do another, another Imperial diorama and actually use this guy. I've been holding back on doing the Emperor's Arrival on, on the Death Star because of the, uh, the Crimson Guard situation. I'm not sure if they're going to come out with a new Crimson Guard. But um, I would like to do another, another uh, um, <coughs> parade of Imperials here um, pretty soon. I've, this, is, this is my 97th Imperial I have, by the way, out of the packaging. I've got over 100 Imperials in the packaging. I would very much like to put together another Imperial Diorama and use this guy with my other Stormtroopers. I may do this in the following week. I'm going to my folks' place where I have the majority of my stuff in storage. So um, I may make a diorama there for you with this guy. Um, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. He's a very good trooper. As I said, he's similar to the 30th anniversary, but I think he's built with better quality since he's unique. Um, the factory built him to a uh, higher standard than your typical 30th anniversary or maybe like your Legacy Collection Space Trooper or your Legacy Collection Luke and Han. He gets a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the only thing, I wish he wouldn't have had the uh, ball jointed chest and removable helmet. As you know, I'm not a fan of that, but I'm not going to completely hold it against Hasbro. Now that I have him out of the package, he does look very impressive. Um, so I give, I'm giving him a 9 out of 10, and this is my second review for a... Uh, a Force Unleashed action figure. <coughs> and if you can still get one, if you still like this guy, you know, don't pay for through the nose on eBay. I, I'd suggest... I just looked at Hasbro's site. I didn't see the uh, Comic-Con one available. But if another one, Comic-Con one comes up, I do suggest to you um, Imperial Collectors to pick one up. I highly suggest that He's a very unique Imperial. Um, I think he'd be an asset to your collection. And um, I'll, I'll probably put together some diorama diorama coming in the following week with this guy. So uh, this is Supreme signing out and uh, thanks a lot for tuning into my review.